Hello there, and um, welcome to one of the first um, Python tutorials. In this tutorial I'm just going to do some very basic coding, show you what a simple Python file looks like, and write a couple of mathematical functions. So a standard sort of template for a Python file is to have a blank main function in it, and these final two lines And the purpose of the last two lines is to detect whether this file is the one that's currently being run. And if it is the one that's currently being run, then this will run the main function as the first thing that's done. So go ahead and type in this template program. If you're using something like the PyScript or Editor, this blank template will already be put in for you. So now let's change this Python program to actually do something. So in the main function, instead of the word pass, which means do nothing, I'm going to change this to print hello. So I'm going to run this function. In the editor I'm using, I'll be prompted to save the program because I haven't saved it yet. So I'll say OK. And I need to give this a name. So I'm just going to call this demo.py and save it. And you see in the Python output window, the output appears, the word hello. OK, so just to recap, we've defined a new function called main. We didn't give it any input values. If we had, they would be in the brackets there. And don't forget, you need a full colon on the end of the first definition line. Then the lines of that function, the lines that belong to the function main, are indented. And we just have one line, hello. I'm going to add another line now goodbye. And notice that I've indented those two lines by the same amount. And that's important. That lets Python know that both of those lines belong to this main function. So if I run the program again, now we see both of the lines. So when we run a Python program, Python goes through the function, the main function, in order, line by line. Let's add a more mathematical function to this. Let's add the squaring function. So I'm going to call this function f and let it act on a single input x. And this is the function which calculates x times x. That's the squaring function. So that's how a definition of a function might look. Now I've made a deliberate error here, but I'm going to leave it in there so we can learn something. So that's a definition of a function. By itself, a definition doesn't do anything. However, lower down, we can actually use the function here. So I'm going to try using the function to calculate 2 squared. So I'm going to put f of 2 here. Now by itself, that calculation won't produce any visible result. But it will if I give this uh, value a name. So let's let y be f of 2. And then I print out the value on the screen. Now let's see what happens. It won't quite be what we expect, but let's see what we get. So this is rather strange. In between the hello and goodbye lines, we've got the value non. Why did that happen? Well, in Python, a function can calculate lots of values during its calculation. It could calculate lots of intermediate values that it then uses later. You have to actually tell Python which of those values is the one that you want to be the final answer. And you do that by using a return statement. So we need to return the answer x times x. Now let's run this code again. And we see what we expect. f of 2 uh, should give us the answer 4, which we've then printed, and we see 4 over here. So let me clarify what return does and why it's called return. So when we have a line like this one, which involves an assignment statement, Python always tries to calculate the value of what's on the right-hand side. So it attempts to evaluate this right-hand side to produce a single value that it can then give the name y to. Now, in order to calculate the value for f of 2, it jumps into our definition of f of x with x equal to 2. And then it will run the code in f line by line. Now, when it comes down to here, x times x is 2 times 2, which produces 4. And then the return statement tells Python to return back to where it was before and substitute in the answer. So substitute in the value that resulted. So we had 2 times 2 giving 4. So Python returns back to where it was, which was f of 2, and replaces f of 2 with the value 4. So this line essentially becomes y equals 4, and then we print y on the screen, so we print the 4. 
So that's what return means. It means every time we've used a function like here, we use the function f applied to 2, this tells us to return back and substitute the answer in in place of that, which if you think about it is exactly what we would like to happen in ordinary mathematics. Okay, so that was a very short tutorial on writing a Python function correctly and remembering to give a return value. Thanks very much for listening um, and enjoy Python.